got lots of interviews. Sometimes it's very embarrassing. It seems like I'm, I'm, actually, I'm not receiving the, uh, the, the, the award. Uh, at least I uh, contribute to this field, contribute to this award-winning uh, discovery. Maybe a beer or two, and then roll up the sleeves and get back to work, huh? Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, definitely beers. <laughs> Why do we need to make sense of the senses? Our ability to sense heat, cold, and touch is very essential for survival. As a scientist, we are very curious how this occur. This question, I think, has been solved by this year's Nobel Prize laureate, Professor David Julius and Adam Patipodian. So David actually used a, a chemical known as capsaicin. Capsaicin is a pungent compound from chili pepper that when you eat, chili pepper, or you accidentally drink a hot water, you have actually, you have the same sensation. After he found that actually uh, this, the receptor for the capsaicin, the tester, whether this receptor also can sense hot temperatures. Right. Actually indeed, this receptor is also for heat sensation. If you never, never eat chili, uh, chili food before, actually you, you, you do not enjoy it. Actually, you feel pain in your mouth, mm. right? So that, that means, although scientists are trying to understand how we sense temperatures, after we see the discovery of the receptors, now you can see how we can feel pain. The other very basic environment factors is mechanical force. When we shake hands, Actually, we are giving each other a force in right. our skin. Then we can feel it. Then what molecules feel the force? I see. Then come to Adam's uh, discovery. So in his lab, he has identified two receptors called piezo one and two. Whether we could use this sensor or this molecule to develop a uh, drug to treat some related diseases. For example, when you have a, a, a cut in your hand, then you, when you touch it, you, even though it's very gentle, you can still feel pain. Right. This is called tactile pain. For those kind of pain, many cancer patients actually suffer this kind of pain. Taking off their, their, their clothes can cause their uh, very severe pain. This mm -hmm. means to us that if we can develop blockers for blocking PS2 function in this patient, then we may try to alleviate their uh, pain sensation. There's a lot of discussion, Professor Xiao, in China about, you know, when is a Chinese scientist going to win the Nobel Prize? I'm hopeful and I'm very encouraged by our current uh, situation in China. I got my PhD in Canada and uh, did a postdoc in the United States. And then I uh, came back in, in Tsinghua in 2013. Over the last eight, eight years, I really see the uh, research in China has grown so quickly and so uh, so fast. This is just unbelievable. I think that uh, with this kind of uh, trend in the future, we can make lots of major discoveries.